Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of a new Sims 4 series. This is the Bennett family. Now, let me introduce you to its members. Here, we see Eric doing the washing up. On the computer here, we see Steve. And here, we see Julie. Steve's wife, and over there we see Eric's wife Jenny, and there's Marsha, he's an alien child, Melanie, Marsha's half-sister, and their cousin, Erica. Now, I'm playing as Eric at the moment, and I'm pretty damn sure. Why they need to get to know each other when they're a family, I have no idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, Julie, you're sitting next to your youngest daughter. So give her a hug. They, they are a happy family. Okay, what's wrong with Melanie? Oh, uh, I gave that task to the wrong adult, did I? Now, of course, Marsha being an alien, she's going to need a backstory. So, what it is, is according to her backstory, she was born on Mars at the start of the Great Universal War. So her parents sent her down to Earth for her own protection. And she was taken in by Steve and Julie mm -hmm. and raised as their daughter so that's basically <laughs> Marsha's backstory <laughs> and I know kids normally do call each other names but not these kids You want to know about your sister? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. It might actually help you to know that she's an alien. <laughs> oh yeah. This is Marsha in her human disguise, by the way. It's gonna be a great series. I can, I can feel it. And of course, you're not gonna prove. You're not gonna uh, believe your sister's an alien unless she does this. Uh, reveal yourself. Prove to your sister that you're an alien. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. ah. 
See? What do you think? <laughs> ah, she's not interested, okay. Put your disguise back on then. Ah, she's going. Would an alien be afraid of a monster under her bed? How did she get so big? Oh, she's pregnant or something. <laughs> Melanie's gone to bed. <laughs> Steve, you've been on the computer for ages, my friend. Oh, that's Eric. Sorry, Steve. Steve's this guy over here. She's an athletic person, is Julie. And it looks like she's going to bed. I hope they go to their claimed bed. Well, she's too young, really, to do that, and she's too young to work. Okay, so let's have a photo of her. Love that pose. There you go. And we're back. Okay, we're back with Eric. We could use photos of every member of the family. Or a photo of every member of. <laughs> okay. It looks like we need to swap play over to Little Miss Uncomfortable here. Send her to the toilet. That's where you need to be going if you need it, Jenny. Well, she's got a sore back, actually. How quickly do these beds chew up the backs of the characters asleep in them? Anyway. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
No, that's not why she was uncomfortable. Well, now she's the only one awake. Actually, Marcia's just taking a nap. She's not actually asleep. <laughs> that's not the idea of going to sleep, Marsha. Hang on a minute. Let's just send her to proper sleep. Oh, uh, yeah, here she goes. <laughs> and of course, that not everyone's asleep. As you can see... This will be a chance for Jenny to write something or no, to research health reports for a medical journal. Yeah, she's a doctor, you see. And, uh, <clears throat> well, she sure can pick a time to be up and about when she's got work in about six hours. Right, I think I could actually fix that if I just send her back to sleep. But she's got to do this also. So yeah, there we go, with four adults out at work, the money's going to keep pouring in. Because <laughs> she's the first one who needs to get up and go to work. So the correct time for her to be up is about 6 o'clock in the morning. All the adults. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Jenny. You need to be getting up. got work soon. Looks like Julie's beat him to the uh, kitchen.
<laughs> okay. We are going to send her on her own. So, that's Julie off to work. I must have given them the wrong hair colours. No. That should have been Jenny Bennett. Hang on a minute. I'll give them, I'll give them the two sister -in -law, sisters-in-law the same first name. How did that escape my... Uh, my notice? So that's Julie and Julie. Sorry, guys. But I did mean that to be Julie and Jenny. They're, they're not jobs you can follow them to, I'm afraid. But the kids should be going to school. Why aren't they? There you go. Mimblet Sabrisia. Isabel. Plurna. Oh, Kitsuni. Luck. And that's where we'll call it here for this episode, guys. Episode two is on its way. Until then, bye bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second episode of the Bennett Family. Sims 4 series, and it appears as though <laughs> but you see that Eric or Steve needs a Steve, I think that is, needs a wash. Well, the problem is we only have one bathtub and no shower. And let's see if we can get <laughs> Erica to calm down. She needs to calm down. Steve needs a bubble bath, but the bathroom is crowded. So, why is she still called Julie when I changed her name to Jenny? Oh, for goodness sake. That should have changed. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Mindle Nopsy? Yep, dee! Ah. Joe, one noosh. Bless you. Wake up! Oh, jeez. That's what we get for only having the one bath time. There's uh, Marsha in the bar. Alone of Pogan, Amiva, Knox, Kish, Karsva, as an oil for love. Kazo, Dorgo, Yonki? That's Eric, Julie, should be Jenny, going to bed. What time I actually put a shower into this household. So anyone who needs a wash can have one. Regardless of whether or not there's a bath tub. Ooh. Right, we got someone in a playful mood. So it's time for her to make fun of adults to an adult. <laughs> She'll be one one day. <laughs> Well, I swap over to Steve. Who <laughs> also needs a wash. Jeez, come on. Right. See if I can get him to take a photo with his wife. Oh, my 
jealous Nifa. Ugh. Hell's near to Sparba. Haha, <laughs> cheeky. Okay, there we go. And now we return to. There we go. Huh? Right, you can have a bath now. Yeah, I need to swap play over to Julie for that. That's Steve's Julie, by the way. <laughs> you can't be unseen. Sharing a hug. Woo! Arbin Wexa. Right. <laughs> and obviously, she wants to be taking a photo with her husband. No one wants to be taking photos at this time of night. See if I can get these two to take a photo. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Aramak Kapuma? Andy! Okay. Oh, Sniffer. <laughs> now all I need is a photo of 
<laughs> Erica? And then that's the whole family snapshot. Maybe I can get her to... I can't get her to do anything at the moment. She's asleep. Anyway... Jeez. Talk about not taking care of yourself. Right. I'm going to have to enter build mode. See if I can put a shower in there. That way, any time a member of the household is in the bath, the other member who needs a wash can have a wash. So we want objects by room. And we want to go to the bathroom. And no, we can't. There's not enough space. Okay. So we return to live mode. Well, maybe if we were to move the toilet, we might have enough space. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? <coughs> No. Not in your life. And we can't expand the room. <laughs> Well, now that room is poorly designed. Right, if I can get her to take a photo of Erica, that's the whole family with photos that way. Right, I'm going to have to move the toilet back into the corner of the room. All this moving around. Mala, Ma, Masha can now use the toilet. Right, who needs a shower or who needs a wash? So she see if she can take a photo of her daughter. Okay. Not exactly the best picture in the world, but you know. 
Maybe that's because she was about to go to bed and my mum decided to take a snapshot of her. <laughs> okay. That way, the episodes can have a family member of... A picture of any family member. As a thumbnail. For the strictly character-centric episodes, right. Okay, Marsha. See if you can get a photo of your sister on her own. She needs to get to know the rest of the family members. Whoa, okay. That's good enough. <coughs> Bless me. Sorry, guys. Right. She's got a bit more getting to know to do. He's embarrassed, tense, asleep, embarrassed. Glora. Very embarrassed because she's wet herself. Ah, oh, no, don't embarrass her anymore. Take a photo of. She needs to get to know her mum. Right, go and get a photo of your dad. Okay, this Julie needs to go to work in about an hour. Okay guys. And it's like getting photos of solo adults might not be easy. But we'll call it here for this episode and I'll ask you to join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye. Hello everyone, uh, huh. and welcome to the third me? episode. <laughs> e <laughs> of the Bennett Family Sims 4 series. This is, yep. Now we're setting the kids up with some after school activities. Well, that's Erica. That's Erica done. And she needs something to eat and she needs a wash. So, in that order. Bebo! 
Eric's off to work. And she's actually stayed as Jenny this time. Well, that's good. Give a pep talk. Get to know. To get to know our own daughter. Cenobib. Cenobib Polingo. Nervous yopic, huh? Yamsaprita. Grump Tebow. <laughs> oh, two people need to go to work. Mm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Marie Poshima? Mm. Oh, Tinkwell. Uh. No, man, just go. You too, Julie. Oh, gee. What? Shouldn't the kids be at school? No, me. But not for me. Uh, okay, I guess not. Okay. Oh. And this is why they need a family group photo. Become partners in crime with your sister. Ho 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 Do I dare them to do that next time they go to school? Shave. It's a shave. 
<laughs> oh, I wish. Oh, I wish. Crazy. <laughs> I can follow them and see what they do. Mystery mail. While sorting the mail, Steve finds a package marked urgent. But the recipient's name has been smudged out. How will Steve deal with the mystery package? Send a company-wide email asking for help, or wait to see if anyone contacts the mailroom looking for their urgent mail. Planning mischief together. <laughs> Don't complain about the parents. Monkey around. Brighten their day. Well, so much for one child to do. Jenny's asleep. Now, no, she's not supposed to be at work. She is in three days. Erica's up and about. <laughs> um. Of course. Exercising. Oh, I'm gonna swap play back oh. over to Melanie. Oh. Who isn't looking for her partner in crime. <laughs> it is Tuesday in the game. Why aren't they uh, why aren't they supposed to be at school? Right, maybe do homework. <laughs> do homework. All three of them should be doing their homework. So I'm going to make sure they do it. that up before it spoils. No one's going to eat it. 
Um, why did I just get a kid to do that? Right, she needs to clean up. All three girls are doing their homework. <laughs> yeah, I know how you feel, Erica, but yeah, you have to do it if you want your grades to go up. <laughs> Maybe a banana, a vini these. It's gonna go to waste well, yeah, if I don't eat it a... soon. Spoon biff, yada boo. Okay, she can go to sleep now. She claims that bed she can sleep in it. What on earth? What am I doing now? Guys, see. No, she's fine as she is. Sorry about that, guys. And that's not what I wanted her to do. change into their pyjamas before getting into bed. Ah! Eric's been promoted! Good man, Eric! Steve just needs his energy. So we're gonna send him to sleep. And we're gonna play as Julie. Bueno, bueno. 
Okay. I think. She's happy enough as it is, but I think we need to put her doing something. Golfers. Eric, if you're tired, then why don't you go to bed? Wait, who's that in your bed? That's Jenny. Okay. Go and join your wife. I mean, look, oh, she's up now. Uh -huh. She's got a call from Mitchell, Kalen, uh, Kalani. Not right now. I thought you were tired, Eric. Yeah, I thought you were tired. There's not enough space in the house to support another kid. She's gone to sleep again. Where though? Crimbo tube. Don't tell me in one of the kids' beds. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. She's gone to sleep in one of the kids' beds. Snubara, do the That's safe, woman. You've got your own bed to sleep in. Come on. Right. <laughs> that bed belongs to Marsha. I thought claiming beds stopped other sins from sleeping in them. <laughs> Shiban Yaban's old house, Galarga Fenosa. I thought they were sharing a bed. Hang on a minute. Sensivi Kanaku Squarspa. Sanzizi Katuni. Now he should be able to walk round the other side. If he needs to sleep. There you go. That's why he couldn't. <laughs> but then that blocks the entrance, doesn't it? What if, uh, I wanted Julie to come in and do some of this? I guess it doesn't really, um, if there's another way into the room. <laughs> Not enough exercise. <laughs> right, you know what? It's time... To do something about that. Right. So we're going to call it here for this episode, guys. 
And until join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye bye. Hello everyone. And welcome to another episode of the Bennett Family Sims 4 series. This is episode four. And I'm playing as Julie. Who needs a wash and who also needs her energy. Let's see if we can get her to take a bubble bath. Yep. You can't not go to sleep or not have a shower. You need to work out. Would it be fair? To get her to do that now. Oh, curses. What are the kids doing up? Oh, that's what. Oh, that's Jenny up and needing the toilet. And Erica's going to get something to eat. <laughs> okay. Me. Oh my. <coughs> Pardon me. At least all the adults in the family have jobs. But you, young lady, ought to be asleep. Come on.
Do these kids want to grow up? Right, yo. Nima Shorb, Sush, Bill. And Steve is also up because he feels hungry. You know what to do then, Steve, don't you? <laughs> That's right, you need to get yourself some Isesium K. Mackie Cheese. Uh, why? We can't afford to get it replaced. Weaves Balco. No bleem. Lenozif. Sorry. Oh, 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 Glassy, Maya Woosh, and the house. Why do things in these? Oh, okay, now she's having a bath. Well, everyone else is just getting up. Okay, she's made friends with the monster under her bed. Well, that is a turn of events. Jabin, Manji Chul. Julie's gonna wet herself if she doesn't get to the toilet soon. Back in the bathroom for. Oh, 
Room for more grump. No more Jabby Jones. You uh, you're fine. <laughs> <Bloody. laughs> <laughs> now she'd be more inclined to work out. Be off to school soon. Hey guys. Steve should have been out here working out as well. Eric, by the way. <laughs> Steve is this guy here. Oh, he still needs to fill out his report. I'm guessing that's what he's doing now. If it isn't... Then he needs to do that. Okay, so that just leaves Jenny. Who doesn't have work? So I've got her to play. Frank failed. In an extraordinary display of determination, Melanie meticulously stacked hundreds of full cups of water in front of her classroom, plus a few others for good measure. Unfortunately, the pyramid collapsed before class started, resulting in a lot of wasted effort and a pathetic pile of empty cups. But she didn't get into trouble. Ooh. Well, that. <coughs> was lucky. Ooh. 
Okay, guys. We are going to call it here for this episode. And I'll ask you to join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Bennett Family Sims 4 series. This is episode 5. And well, I do believe I was going to take Jenny out. So. I am going to do that. But she's going to go out on her own. This is to kill time. And actually. I'm going to send her to a different neighbourhood. Let's take her into Del Sol Valley. You'll never know who she could meet here. Well, there's someone right there. Let's see. Oh, she's feeling tense. Feeling uncreative. Well, I don't think I should have brought her out here. Well, so much for my plans. I'm gonna have to send her home then. Which is a shame because I was going to send her in there to do some exercising. Right, she needs to do something creative. Well, that's not exactly what she's looking to do, but she needs to do that. So anyway, we still need to attend two active work days 
at the hospital. She's now feeling focused. And that's it for that. What's she doing? Ah, she's going to have a nap. Well then. Another standardised test. Standardised test. Melanie is almost done when she realises she skipped a bubble near the top. All her answers are one off. She starts to tell the teacher, but realises she'll have to take it again. It's really only for the state. It doesn't affect her grade. Confess her mistake. Mystery ball. While sorting the mail, Steve finds a package marked urgent. Okay. Wait. And Jenny is now awake. And Erica is... Okay. The kids are home. But they all need stuff. So we're going to put Marsha in the bath. She needs fun and so does Melanie. Well, only one of them can use a computer. Eric is at her meeting. Marsh is feeling playful in the tub. Well, we only have one toilet, and Marsh is in the bath at the moment. Oh, Steve's been promoted to office assistant. He will now make an additional four simoleons an hour. For a grand total of 20 simoleons an hour. He has also received the following bonus. 130 simoleons. Desk nameplate. 
stolen new clothes and make fun of corporate goons interaction and Eric uh, Julie's been promoted to a locker room assistant she will now make an additional three simoleons an hour for a grand total of 19 she has also received the following 110 simoleons and athletes trophy case uh, Eric has not been promoted but has brought home 152. <laughs> Desperate for fun. Uh, the most fun he can have right now is practicing his acting. That's Eric, so Steve, take a bubble bath to try and calm down. I'm not sure he's going to want to do that with his brother in the room. Yes, yeah, just ignore. He is feeling energized now. Yeah, go on, go ahead, give your niece a pep talk. Oh, looking out, Marsha's on her way. Yeah, I know. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, nothing. There is space to have an extra room built at the back. <laughs> 
Right, we're going to call it here for this episode, guys. And join me for the next episode soon. Until then, bye. Hello, everyone. And welcome to another episode of the Bennett Family series in The Sims 4. This is episode 6. And let's say we've got some tension building up. Oh, Jenny, you're not looking very good, love. Right, we need her to calm down, really, don't we? Let's see if this does the trick. And Steve, you need fun. We're going to try and calm him down now. Oh my. He's an active sim, but he's not getting enough exercise. So after that, he's going to have to do some working out. Okay, she's asleep. So is she. Okay. Uncomfortable. Ah. Oh, I can see the problem there. With Melanie in the bath. That means we're going to have to send Erica to the shower. Oh no, don't worry Erica, you can use the bath now. Okay Eric, you want to be playful? No. Okay. In spite of the whole family needing to be asleep at this time, they're not. Your uncle's in a playful mood. Why don't you go and uh, impishly pester him? Oh, maybe not. Are they getting into the right beds? Right. Told you it would be Night of the Weirdness. <laughs> well, what do you expect from having an alien in the family? Right, she needs to eat and she needs to work out. Right, she's sore from working out. Okay, so let's give her something to eat then. What would you like? A uh, uh, pan tomato?
Right. It's time I actually did a bit of travelling with these folks. Okay, she looks like she could be getting a little on the chubby side, and she's supposed to be a fit sim. Oh, Marsha, you're not supposed to sit there. Once you're done, Julie, you can then have your bath. He's asleep. Okay. Oh, that's good. Nearly everyone in the household here is asleep. We just need... Julie to be. Oh, come on, Marsha. You're an alien. Surely you can handle a little monster under your bed. Okay, everyone seems to be getting up because they're feeling tense and uncomfortable. Well, Steve, the only choice you've got is a shower. What is it with this bathroom? Right, I'm telling them to take a thoughtful shower. It's feeling energised. And okay, we've got Jenny who's happy now. That was Eric, by the way. Well, okay. I should have expected the family to be a weird one for actually raising an alien. Now, well, Eric, don't you die.
Okay. Despite him being one himself, he's going to go and make fun of him. That's your husband? Really? Make a flirtatious joke. Yep. Okay. Let's turn their mood flirty. Probably not a good mood for them to be in in front of the kids, but you know. Well, I think this is as good an episode as any, guys. So we'll call it here. And... Join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye-bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Bennett Family in The Sims 4. This is episode 7, and as we can see here, Melanie is very uncomfortable because she's hungry and needs her energy. So in that case, Mel, why don't you go to sleep? And she's clearly not eating. Okay, Steve's got work in an hour, so we need to get him up. Yeah, Steve, mate. You need to be getting up. And of course, Jenny's feeling playful because she was in the bath. But Jenny, we got a job for you to do, love. We need you to wake your brother-in-law up. Because he's got work in a, about an hour. Less than, actually. Alright, Melanie's going to be missing school again because she's asleep. Alright. 
All right, now I'm going to take control of Steve. He's in need of fun. Well, we haven't got time for him to have fun because he's got to go to work. So... He's got to fill out his reports. And that just leaves Melanie bunking off school. No, we're not going to have her doing that. Come on, Melanie. you got to get up and go to school. Marsha's failed her prank. And Melanie, your grades are going to slip. Because she hasn't started her homework either. Her grades are going to slip. And if she doesn't get into school soon, they're going to kick her out. Yeah, wake your niece up, Jenny. She's she's not at school. She's still in bed. She's gone. But she hasn't done her homework. Okay, Jenny, you got the house to yourself, but we are going to take you out. Before we do that, On the road to fame. Guess where we're taking her then? We are going to take her to Del Sol Valley. Yep, there we go. And, of course, I'll be sending her there on her own. Pardon me. Sorry about that, guys. Where in Del Sol Valley? They have a home fitness centre in their home, so they won't, so she won't need to be going there.
So we're sending her, or oh, we brought her to the museum. Not exactly where playful sims want to go. Well, she is a doctor and... This is one of her days off. We're going to bring her up here. Then we might as well just have her making good use of her day. Yeah. Well, okay, Jenny, where are you? Unless you don't want to be here. She is probably upstairs now. Well, is she? I should have chosen a better place for... Um, yeah, I should have chosen a better place to bring her. So how about... Can't bring her there. Chateau Peak. I don't think I've taken anyone there before. The question is, can just anyone walk inside this thing, this building? Well, I think it's someone's home, so kind of, no. There's no one lives there. Well, I sure can pick places, can't I? However, I think it's time to bring her home. Because there needs to be at least one adult in for when the kids get home.
Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Turn it all over. Notable newcomer. What's happened here? This is his home. Okay, he started down the path to stardom. Hey? Oh, that's because he's lost his job. Okay, and he needs a new job, doesn't he? Say, I, uh, I never intended for him to lose his job. <laughs> Come on. So, which career would be best suited for him now? Don't think his family would like him being a criminal. And not when he's a good person. Okay, I'm going to make him a painter, which means... We need to put an easel in for him. So... Okay, Erica, you can have a bath. Marsha, you can go to bed. And Melanie, you can go to bed. See, look at her, Marsha needs her energy. So, this only leaves no one. <laughs> so, Julie's still at work, Eric's asleep, or Steve's asleep, Eric's still at work. And um, why is Melanie dreaming of embarrassment exactly? Ah, oh, what? I have to send her to a meeting without a wash.
you know, she's going to get demoted or kicked out of the club. She does need to practice her dramatics. Okay, Eric's home. And so is Julie. Okay, the kitchen's right here. Just go and grab yourself something to eat. I can't send them all to sleep. Oh, already? Well, in that case, she can do her homework. Because she needs to be doing that. Okay, it certainly has been. A certain sort of discovery. You do know that you can't cook for yourself until you become a teenager? Ah, oh, fine, just go to sleep. Eric. Okay, my friend, you appear to need a shower. Go and take a brisk shower. What's the matter with the room there? It's a sink in the way. So Eric, you can now take a brisk shower. That was the problem. New quirk, emotion bomb. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Right, Jenny is feeling inspired. I'm not surprised.
only now we have a sink that's on this side of the room and a mirror on that side. Okay, guys, we'll call it here for this episode. I'll ask you to join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye-bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Bennett Family Sims 4 series. This is episode 8, and... Jenny's the only one up and playable at the current time, so I'm taking control of her. She is inspired. Uh, yeah. She's still a medical intern. She still needs to attend two days of work. Well, uh, her next shift is in... Ten hours. Okay, so the goal here is to go to work with Jenny. Because I need to actively spend two days at work with her. And see as she actually has an early shift. I should actually be getting her to go to sleep. Not work out. That's correct, people. What, what's her satisfaction like? Seventy five. Practice music for six hours, listen to music for two hours. The only thing is with that. Steve, you got a new job, which we need to put an easel in your house for you to do. Anyway, let's see, in your hobby slash exercise area, if we move the home gym off to one side of it, which we can't, so uh, yeah. I should have made this area a bit bigger when I built it. There's nowhere else to put an easel. No, that wouldn't fit there, it'd be too small. Um, well, if you want something to do, Steve, you could clean these up.
Well, you didn't do your business job properly, did you? That's why you lost it. One way to stop him from uh, feeling so tense is to get him playing a game. When you got two tense brothers, because Eric is feeling the same way. We only have the one computer. Uh. Who beats whom to it? That won't make him feel any better. Well, Steve's happy now. Well, she can come and get herself something to eat. She's not a toddler. Have a quick meal, Melanie. Have some cereal. It's not time for the kids to become teens yet. And when it is, there will be three of them to age up. That's more like it, girly. I mean, Melanie. Take a bath, a bubbly, bubbly bath. And then you need to eat, 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 eat. Okay. Although, Melanie, although you're happy, you should be in bed. So, back to bed, young lady. School kids shouldn't be up and about during the day, uh, during the night, during the day. Yeah, they should. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Oh, 
talk to the monster, Marsha. You're an alien. You should be able to get on with it. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get your mum to come and deal with this. And Marsha, you appear to need something to eat. Grab yourself a ham and cheese sandwich. Oh no, you don't want to be unseen. Okay, let's get you some chips. She becomes ravenous in six hours. We can't have that. Can we now? Erica. Jenny's in need of fun. Oh dear. Sorry, not Jenny, that's Julie. Sorry. Okay, guys. We are going to end this episode where it is. And I'll ask you to stick around for the next one soon. Until then, bye-bye. Hello everyone, and welcome oh. to another episode of the Bennett Family Sims 4 series. This is episode 9, and we have Stephen feeling focused. What does Eric need? Oh, he needs the, uh, the bubbaloo, the toilet. There's just one problem. Melanie is in the other bathroom. So is everyone else. And Julie beats him to the toilet. Stephen's the one who is feeling focused. And now he's asleep. So we swap play over to Julie. See what she does. Well, Marsha's in the bath, and Erica's about to come off the computer. So, ask your niece about school. No need, because no, the kids are all off the school. Uh, you know what that means soon. I need to swap play over to Jenny because... No, no, I don't. She's at work. So I need to swap play over... I can keep play at Julie. A stay-at-home mum. And Eric is still asleep. 
I hate huh. to cry, Eric, but shouldn't you be at work? <sighs> In 23 Why, minutes. What's Julie been doing while I've been away? Oh. Looks like she's been eating a bit of the old junk. She needs to exercise. It's a good thing we have this home workout oh. equipment. Hey. Steve, oh. Eric and Steve are on their way out to work. Yeah, I need to get Steve an easel. There's just one problem, we haven't got anywhere to put one. So, yeah. This could be another job, Steve, um, Steve could be on the way to losing PE class. Erica's PE class gets to run laps. Lots of them to build their stamina and lung capacity. She is mostly through the first lap when she notices a gap under the bleachers just the right size for a little rest. Would coach notice if she sat out for a few laps? Keep running or hide out. Well, let's see what happens if she hides out. Okay, Erica sides quickly away. Uh, quickly under the bleachers, wedging herself into a nice shady spot. Unfortunately, lying down in the shade is a little too restful. Erica awakes. Well, when Erica... Okay. Yes, true. But now, we play off as Julie. The only household member who is out of work at this current point in time. Or who doesn't have work at this current point in time. Jenny, you need to come and take a bath. You're a doctor and... The most unfortunate thing for you, my friend, is... You don't have good hygiene. I need to, I, I still need to attend two days of work with her. I have to remember to do that. And she needs to be in that mood. Okay, so, Marsha. She's on the computer. Okay. Okay. Melanie, why don't you come and use the computer?
Okay, Melanie's had a bad day at school. Yeah, we have. Well, let's see if anyone can cheer her up. Ow, she didn't even go to work. So far. Okay, Eric. That's very interesting, actually. Okay. It looks like everyone's been having a bad day except, um, Marsha, who's happy. You know, it would be kind of weird if Marsha was to discuss aliens if she is an alien herself. Julie, if you're feeling uncomfortable... Oh yeah, you're still in the bath. My bad. Sorry. And she's actually going to bed. Okay, so that's everyone either asleep, <laughs> not either asleep, uh, what can we do to cheer poor Melanie up? Is there... Okay, see if she can give herself a pep talk, but not in that mirror, in the other one. Oh dear. No, she's gonna go from sad to embarrassed. Oh, dude. Uh -uh. Let's see if that works for her. Hey. 
You're no, you're no flea. Excellent. To raise <laughs> oh. oh dear. To do with icky plumbing. Get it ready if you wanna play on there, uh, Erica. Why does everything in this household keep breaking? Looks like Martha's having a monster problem. But she's happy. Okay. Well, she could try talking to the monster. Must get your mum to come and handle that. The gym equipment. Oh, What's up? What's But no bet. Mop it up. Okay, guys. We're going to call it here for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. The uh, next episode is on its way soon. Until then, bye.